well, similarly to like what they say in musical theater, when words are no longer enough, you sing. Well, when words are no longer enough, you fight. Um, and so usually what I do is, you know, just like any of us, when we're reading a, a novel, when we're reading a play, you start picturing the scene. So I get an idea of how these characters are in that actual scene, how they behave. And from that, how violent are they actually going to be? Um, you know, there's different levels. And so, you know, what I might do for a production of Macbeth would not be appropriate for a different show. So it's my job to think about how those characters would actually respond in these moments and then give the actors moves that I think they can really excel at. Sometimes I'm very fortunate and I get actors who are quite skilled and have had a lot of training. Other times I have actors who this is their very first time ever doing stage combat. So just like a dance choreographer, it's my responsibility to take them through all of the different safety techniques and procedures we go through. And just like with dance, I show them all the moves in the sequence that we go through. And if there's any questions, I happily answer them. And if there's any issues, then we go on from there. We could play computer or we could do feathers. Let me write it down for you. <laughs> Granny, it might be a good time for you to get some help. Also, another thing that's really helpful to me is talking to the director because I can have a vision in my head, but then as soon as I talk to them, it can either completely um, solidify what I was going to do or it can change it. They may have a very specific vision that is slightly different from what I originally thought. This way is once you've established this graph or that grandma, is you know, it can be. Listen, like almost like this, this is your way of communicating with her okay. in that time. So, okay. yeah. So it doesn't have to just be tugging at her. It's, I want to communicate with you however. Yeah. It, okay, it, okay. Yeah. But it's my job to listen to them and communicate what the playwright is saying and also what the director envisions this moment to be.